Hello, I'm Dr. Tony Fiore. Four ways to forgive and accept wrongs by your partner. Do you believe in revenge or getting even for injustices against you? Do you hold grudges toward your partner? Do you have trouble knowing how to apologize to your partner to start the healing process? Holding a grudge is a choice and one that can often lead to many years of marital misery as well as to poor health. Many people decide to let it go when they are ready and report feeling much better both physically and mentally, but it is not easy to do. Following are four strategies that will help you. Forgiveness strategy number one. Remember that forgiving doesn't mean that you will forget the offense. In fact, Often you should not forget what was done to you because you may need to protect yourself in the future. But when you forgive, you can remember what was done to you, but no longer feel angry or upset when you do remember or when you see the other person on a daily basis. Forgiveness strategy number two. Remember that if you forgive them, you are not saying that what they did to you was okay or acceptable. You can forgive someone even though you still feel what they did to you or someone else was horrific, unjust, or unfair. Maybe you can think of some examples of people that have forgiven others for horrible things that have occurred. It is not easy, but it's possible to do so. Forgiveness strategy number three. Forgiving someone doesn't mean you will necessarily trust them for a while or even like them right away. Forgiveness is distinct from trust or like. Just because you forgive your partner doesn't necessarily mean you will now automatically trust them again or that you will even like them at the moment. It may take a long time for those other feelings to develop again, but if you forgive, you no longer have the deep anger or resentment toward them when you see them or think about them or you think about what they did to you. Forgiveness strategy number four. Make a decision to forgive, but wait until you are ready. Forgiveness is a very personal decision, and you have to be ready for it. It sometimes takes months or years to decide you are even going to try and release feelings associated with a grievance. But if and when you decide you are ready, you can start the process by simply committing to doing it. For more tips on how to improve your relationship, visit my website at fioricouplescounseling.com or call me at 714 745-1393 to schedule a telehealth consultation.